The Iron Age. The Iron Age in the Iberian Peninsula has two focuses, the Hallstatt-related Iron Age urn fields of the northeast and the Phoenician colonies of the south. During the Iron Age, considered the proto-history of the territory, the Celts came in several waves starting possibly before 600 BC. The southwest Paleo-Hispanic script, also called Tardisian, presented in the Algarve and Lower Antalageo from about the late 8th to 5th century BC. It is possible the oldest script in Western Europe, and it could have come from the Eastern Mediterranean, perhaps from Antolia or Greece. Early Iron Age Cultures Since the late 8th century BC, the Urnfield culture of Northeast Iberia began to develop iron metallurgy and eventually elements of the Hallstatt culture. The earliest elements of the culture were found along the lower Ebro River, then gradually expanded upstream to La Rijoa and in a hybrid local from form to Alava. There was also expansion southward into Castillo with less marked influences reaching further south. Additionally, some offshoots have been detected along the Iberian Mountains, possibly a prelude to the formation of the Celtiberi. During this period, the social deferination became more visible with evidence of, so of local chiefdoms and a horse-riding elite. It is possible that these transformations represent the arrival of a new wave of cultures from Central Europe. From these outposts in the Upper Ebro and Iberian Mountains, Celtic culture expanded into the plateau and the Atlantic coast. Several groups can be described. The Bernario Miravechi group, northern Burgos and Planitia provinces, that would influence the people of the northern fringe. The northwest Castro culture in today's Galicia and northern Portugal, a Celtic culture with peculiarities due to the persistent aspects of an earlier Atlantic Bronze Age culture. The Duro group, possibly the precursors of the Celti Venice. The Coatas culture, like precursor of the Celtic and Cantabrian Veritones, or a pre Celtic culture with substantial Celtic influences, a markedly cattle herder culture that has gradually expanded to southwards into today's Extremida. Lusitanian culture, the precursor of the Lusitani tribe, located in what is today's central Portugal and Extremaruda in western Spain, is generally not considered Celtic since the Lusitanian language does not meet some of the accepted definitions of a Celtic language. Its relationship with the surrounding Celtic culture is unclear. Some believe it was essentially a pre-Celtic Iberian culture with substantial Celtic influences, while others argue that the essential Celtic culture with strong indigenous pre-Celtic influences. There have been arguments that for classification its language is either Italic, a form of Archaic Celtic, or Proto-Celtic. All these Indo-European groups have some common elements, like combed pottery since the 6th century and uniform weaponry. After circa 600 BC, the urn fields of the northeast were replaced by the Iberian culture in a process that wasn't complete until the 4th century BC. The physical separation from these continental relatives would mean the Celts and the Iberian Peninsula never received the cultural influences of Latian culture, including Druidism, Phoenician colonies, and influence. The Phoenicians of Levant, Greeks of Europe, and the Carthaginians of Africa all colonized parts of Iberia to facilitate trade. During the 10th century BC, the first contacts between the Phoenicians and the Iberia along the Mediterranean coast were made. This century also saw the emergence of towns and cities in the southern littoral areas of eastern Iberia. The Phoenicians founded colony of Gadir, modern Cadiz, near Tartessos, the foundation of Cadiz, the oldest continuously inhabited city in Western Europe, is traditionally dated to 1104 BC, although as of 2004, no archaeological discoveries date back further than the 9th century BC. The Phoenicians continued to use Cadiz as a trading post for several centuries, leaving a variety of artifacts, most notably a pair of sarcophaguses from around 4th or 3rd century BC. 
Contrary to myth, there is no record of Phoenician colonies west of the Argive, namely Tavira, even though there might have been some voyages of discovery. Phoenician influences Phoenician influence in what is now Portuguese territory was essentially through cultural and commercial exchanges with Tartessos. During the 9th century BC, the Phoenicians from the city-state of Tyre found the colony of Malacca, modern Malaga, and Carthage in North Africa. During this century, Phoenicians also had a great influence on Iberia with the introduction of the use of iron, of the potter's wheel, the production of olive oil, and wine. They were also responsible for the first forms of Iberian writing, had religious influence, and accelerated urban development. However, there is no real evidence to support the myth of a Phoenician foundation of the city of Lisbon as far back as 1300 BC, under the name of Alas Ubo, Safe Harbor. Even if this period there was an organized settlement in Olispiono, modern Lisbon, in the Portuguese Extremura, and Mediterranean influences. There was a strong Phoenician influence and settlement in the city of Balsa, which is modern Tavira, in the, Al in the Algarve. In the 8th century BC, Phoenician influence Tavira was destroyed by violence in the 6th century BC. With the decadence of Phoenician culture of the Mediterranean coast of Iberia in the 6th century BC, many of the colonies were deserted. The 6th century BC also saw the rise of the colonial might of Carthage, which slowly replaced the Phoenicians in their former areas of dominion. Greek Colonies the Greek colonies of what is now Marseille began trading with the Iberians on the eastern coast around the 8th century BC. The Greeks finally founded their own colony in Amparissa in the eastern Mediterranean shore, modern Catalonia, during the 6th century BC, bidding their settlement in the Iberian Peninsula. There is no Greek colonies west of the Strait of Gibraltar, only voyages of discovery. There is no evidence to support the myth of an ancient Greek founding of Aliposo, which is now modern Lisbon, by Odysseus. The Tartessian culture. The name Tartessian, when applied in archaeology and linguistics, does not necessarily correlate with the semi-mythical city of Tartos, but only roughly with the, with the area where it is typically assumed should have been located. The Tartessian culture of southern Iberia actually is the local culture as modified by the increasing influence of Eastern Mediterranean elements, especially Phoenician. Its core area is Western Andalusia, but soon extends to Eastern Andalusia. The Extremadura and the lands of Murica and Valencia were a Tartesian complex, rooted in local bronze cultures, is in the last stages of the Bronze Age, 9th to 8th century BC, before Phoenician influences can be seen clearly. The full Tartessian culture, beginning circa 720 BC, also extends to southern Portugal, where it is eventually replaced by Lusitanian culture. One of the most significant elements of the culture is the introduction of the potter's wheel. That, along with other related technical developments, causes a major improvement in the quality of the pottery produced. There are other major advances in craftsmanship affecting jewelry, weaving, and architecture. The latter aspects is especially important as the traditional circular huts where they gradually replaced by well-finished rectangular buildings it is also allowed for the construction of tower-like burial monuments that are so typical of, of this culture. Agriculture also seems to have experienced major advances with the introduction of steel tool and presumably of the yoke and animal traction for the plow. In this period it is noticeable the increase of cattle accompanied by some decrease of sheep and goat types. Another noticeable element is the major increase in economical specialization and social stratification. This is very noticeable in burials, with some showing off great wealth, chariots, gold, ivory. While the vast majority are mo much more modest, there is much diversity in burial rituals in this period. But the elites seem to converge in one single style, a chambered mound, some of the most affluent burials are generally attributed to local monarchs. One of the developments of this period is writing, a skill which probably acquired through the contact with the Phoenicians. John T. Koch controversially claimed 
to have deciphered the extent of the Cartesian inscriptions and to have tentatively identified the language as an earlier form of the Celtic languages now spoken in British Isles and Brittany in the book Celtic from the West, published in 2010. However, the linguistics mainstream continues to treat Tartesian as an unclassified, possibly pre-Indo-European language, and Koch's decipherment of the Tartesian script and his theory of, for the evolution of Celtic has been strongly criticized. The Iberian Culture In the Iberian culture, people were organized into chiefdoms and states. Three phases can be identified, the ancient, the middle, and the late Iberian period. With the arrival of Greek influences, not limited to their own few colonies, the Tartesian culture begins to transform itself, especially in the southeast. This late period is known as the Iberian culture, that is western Andalusia and non-Celtic areas of Extremadura, is called ebro tartesian because of its stronger links with the Tartesian subtract. The Hellenic influence is visible in the gradual change of style of their monuments that approach more and more the models arrived from the Greek world, thus the obelisk-like funerary monuments of the previous period now adopted a column-like form, totally in line with Greek architecture. By the middle of the 5th century, aristocratic power was increased and resulted in the abandonment and transformation of the orientalizing model. The oppidum appeared and became the social economic model of the aristocratic class. The commerce was also one of the principal sources of aristocratic control and power in the southeast between the end of the 5th and the end of the 4th century BC appeared a highly hierarchical aristocratic society. There were different forms of political control. The power and control seemed to be in the hand of the kings or reguli. The Iberian funerary customs are dominated by the cremation necropolis that are particularly due to the persistent influences of the Urnfield culture, but they also include burial customs imported from the Greek culture, such as mud brick rectangular mound. Urbanism was important in the Iberian cultural area, especially in the south, where Roman accounts mention hundreds of opida, fortified towns. In these towns, some quite large, some more fortified, the houses were typically arranged in continuous blocks in what seemed to be another Urmfield cultural influx. The Iberian script evolved from the Tartessian one with Greek influences that are noticeable in the transformation of some characters. In a few cases, a variant of Greek alphabet, Ibro-Ionian script, was used to write Iberian as well. The transformation from Tartessian to Iberian culture was not sudden, but gradual, and was more marked in the east, where it begins in the 6th century BC, than in the southwest, where it only noticeable since the 5th century BC, and more tenuous. A special case is the northeast where the Urnfield culture was ibanized by keeping some elements from the Indo-European substrate. Post-Tartesso's Iron Age. Also during the 6th century BC, there was a cultural shift in southern western Iberia, what is now southern Portugal and the nearby areas of the Andalusia, after the fall of Tartesso's, which strong Mediterranean character that prolonged and modified Tartessian culture. This occurred mainly in Low Antilegeo and the Algarve, but the literal extensions up the Sado mouth, namely the city of Behavo, modern Alcera de Salve, the first form of writing in western Iberia, south of Portugal, and southwest Palosophianic script, still to be translated, dated into the 6th century BC denotes strong Tartesian influences and uses the modified phonetic alphabet. In these writings, the word conai, similar to cuntes or sinetes, the people of the Algarve, appear frequently. In the 4th century BC, the Celtici appear, a late expansion of Celtic culture into the southwest, southern Extremadura and El Chitajeo and northern Algarve areas. The Turtili and the Turditani, probably descendants of the Tartesians, although Celticized, became established in the area of the Gordinia River in the south of modern Portugal. A series of cities in the Algarve, such as Balsa, 
Biserises, Osanobo, Klebs, became inhabited by the Cervantes. The Arrival of Romans and Punic Wars During the 4th century BC, Rome began to rise in a, as a Mediterranean power rival to the North African-based Carthage. After suffering defeat to the Romans in the First Punic War, 264 to 241 BC, the Carthaginians began to extend their power into the interior of Iberia from the southeastern coastal settlements, but this empire was to, to be short-lived. In the Second Punic War, 218 to 202 BC, the Carthaginians General Hannibal marched his enemies, which included Iberians, from Iberia across the Pyrenees and the Alps and attacked by the Roman cities in Italy. Despite many victories, he was finally defeated, and the Romans took revenge by destroying Carthage. Starting in the northeast, Rome began its conquest of the, the Iberian Peninsula. Archaeogenetics In recent years, the DNA of individuals from Neolithic and Caliphotic Iberia have been analyzed. With regards to Y-DNA, most Iberians from this period are carriers of I-2A and the subclades of it. R1B, G, and H also occur. With regards to MT DNA, H, V, X, J, K, T, and N have been found.